What's up, people? As you can see from the background, that is my current RGB setup. So I've got one, two, three, four things that are currently flipping out. And after uh, tearing everything apart, adding an ARGB controller and unplugging the actual lighting control switch from my case, I found out it is not a hardware issue. So, <clears throat> if you have an Asus motherboard, like I do, and it starts doing this, and I can promise that I didn't touch anything, this thing did it on its own. It makes you install Armory Crate. That's good. Well, there we go. That's a uh, nice view of the seizure-inducing madness that's happening. Let me find that one. No, not that one. There we go. All right. So I decided to poke around in Armory Crate, which is garbage software compared to the Aurasync software that they decided to get rid of and after two hours of pulling things apart and unplugging things and checking them one by one and still having this thing flip out it comes down to this so I have an x570 plus motherboard we're gonna go ahead and wait for this thing to do whatever it wants quickly I'm busy can you? All right. Well, the cat wants to be in the video. Uh, and this is going to take a while. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that, again, I didn't touch anything. This thing was working just fine the other day. So on the motherboard section, if you look at addressable headers, you can see that this thing is set to Gen 2 for some reason. Right? I didn't set it to Gen 2. <laughs> So let's go ahead and set it back to Gen 1. Okay. I'm going to give it a second. And actually, I can show you guys. We'll just give it a second. Bam. Everything is working just fine. We can even go back into the aura effects here. Uh, we'll set it to, I don't know, rainbow. That should should show everything. Perfect. No issues, no flickering, no hardware problems, nothing. So don't be like me and waste two hours of your life tearing things apart and unplugging things. And especially if you know that everything works. And just check that setting. Do yourself a favor. And again, it's device under the armory crate. Let's uh, go back here. So device, right there. It should show your motherboard, whether you have ROG or TUF or wh whatever types that Asus has. Click on that. Addressable headers, take it off of Gen 2. Unless you want to sit there and figure out Gen 2, don't, don't use it. Don't mess with it. Don't even look at it. Pretend it doesn't exist. Because it doesn't. But other than that, yeah. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that helps some of y'all out. Because I almost threw my case out the window. Trying to figure this out. Oh, yeah. Quick video. Just trying to give people a heads up here. Oh, another fun fact. Asus also installs... Let's see if it decided to put it back there since I did did update Armory Crate. So the aura lighting effects, of course, that's that's fine. We don't want to touch that. Uh, LED sync, that's EVGA stuff. Okay, so it didn't put it back. Now the ROG Live Service, you do need that. Let me move that over a little bit. But it'll install the Patriot Viper RGB software crap. Uninstall it, especially if you don't have Patriot anything. There was also one more here that I had to get rid of, so just after you install Armory Crate, if you do any sort of updates, check your control panel programs and features and make sure there's no extra garbage that they've decided to slap on there for 
no reason whatsoever. And yeah, hopefully this helps people out. And I am done. So thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time, goodbye.